as a listener to this podcast, I appreciate you guys. And I've talked so many times about the platform that I use, and that's Anchor. Anchor makes it so much easier for me to publish my podcast to several different platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and so many more. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast. I absolutely love Anchor, and I use to record my podcast, Hacks and Hobbies, that you're listening to right now. I love the ease of use of the Anchor app and the way that I can publish the podcast. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast, make money doing it, go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Thank you for tuning in to Hacks and Hobbies with your host, Junaid. In season two of Hacks and Hobbies, we're visited by our amazing guests coming from all walks of life who want to learn their story, their struggles, and their journey on how they got to where they are today. So stick around. In this episode, we get to speak with Robert J. Moore, an international best-selling author. He's written numerous books, and I had the opportunity to work with him on one of the projects. So here we have Robert J. Moore. Hi, Robert. Thank you for coming on to the podcast. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How about yourself? Uh, well, you know, I'm tired, but I'm well. I'm tired, but well. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into this business of writing books and being an author and being awesome? Well, down the road uh, years ago, I mean, I used to be a real bad apple. I was a drinking and drugging all the time. Um, I got myself in a bit of trouble in and out of jail. I was living on the streets. And, and I realized I didn't like that lifestyle anymore. It just wasn't becoming me. It was just nobody wanted me around. I was, I guess I was arrogant. Uh, I was becoming angry at the world, but I was really angry at myself. And then next thing you know, I decided, well, I need some extra help to get off the booze and see things mm-hmm. differently. So I went, mm-hmm. I, I went into detox several times before that. It was just to dry out, to, just to get some extra food in me and some sleep and then go back out and hell raise again, I'll call it. Uh-huh. Um, simply put, it, it took me a long time, actually, to, to get over everything. It was age 31 years old when I finally stopped. I got 13 years clean and sober now. But at the same time, when I was looking at it, I had such a criminal record, I couldn't figure out how I was going to compensate for that, how people were going to look at me without seeing that criminal record. So I decided wow. well, I'll start volunteering mm-hmm. and I would start doing my education because I always wanted to get my grade 12 anyways. I didn't know where I wanted to go from there. Just I knew mm-hmm. I wanted to get my grade 12. So I went to yeah. a, like an adult learning center and I ended up getting my grade 12. Mm-hmm. And then I, I said, okay, well, I kind of like this learning aspect. Yeah. Um, so I took it to a whole new addiction, I'm going to say, a whole new level because I ended up getting my social service worker diploma, my addictions degree, my BA in psychology, my master's in counseling psychology. I also got my harm reduction and my mental health crisis. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Yeah. But, that is quite an amazing story. I mean, uh, that's one way to do it. Well, the thing is, when I was doing all that, um, what I liked about it was I was debriefing every two weeks because I was coming off the alcohol and I needed someone to talk to because I was, yeah. using, I was using the alcohol as a clutch for my feelings before. Mm-hmm. To, to numb them. When they were thawing out and I was going through school, what I realized I, I was doing was all my thesis, all my all my projects I was doing, all my essays, all the stuff I was doing was on stuff I was relating and have, having a problem with in the past or present. Mm-hmm. So it really worked out well. And then I, I, I got to see a counselor every two weeks to, yeah. de- to debrief all the situation and, and help guide me through it. So it really, really helped. And then I started doing counseling. So mm-hmm. 
I, I became a registered therapist, became a registered uh, addiction counselor. Now I train addiction counselors and <laughs> I train other entrepreneurs uh, to reach different levels now. Nice. That is fascinating. So tell me, uh, what is something that you're doing right now? I mean, you're helping entrepreneurs, you're helping authors, you're helping. Yeah, I love helping uh, other people get their story out. That's one of the biggest things with me is I like helping people get their story out because what, what yeah. happens is a lot of people don't know how to tell their story. A lot of people, I keep it so basic, yeah. so basic. Yeah. Um, even yourself. I mean, you got to see how basic it was, but as mm -hmm. you went on, I mean, you just, you realize that you can go on forever with your story. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, a lot of people don't realize that their story is valuable and that's one of the biggest things. So magnetic entrepreneur, I come up with the name magnetic entrepreneur personality mm -hmm. that attracts because we all have that personality. It, it, when you're looking at emotions, mm -hmm. magnetic entrepreneur is something people look at and they gravitate to, right? It's like a magnet. Mm -hmm. and then the, the personality is what it is the actual dragon into. So that's why I call it a magnetic <laughs> entrepreneur, a personality tracks. Yeah. But this, this book has take, taken a whole new twist and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Originally I was just going to do five, a series of five books. Yeah. And, and just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest with you. Um, I took the volume out of the book, uh, the word volume off it. So no longer mm -hmm. will have a volume on it. Yeah. Um, the very first book was uh, endorsed by Les Brown. Yeah. Um, the number one motivational speaker in the world. Now I've I've uh, been talking to Don Green, CEO of Napoleon Hill Foundation. Oh. He's offered to endorse uh, any book that he reads. You know, I want to clarify that any book that he reads, and the reason why is because he wants to read the book that he's endorsing, so he knows what's going out there. Whether yeah. He's it. Yeah. And we made that agreement. Now, anybody that usually comes in to have a chapter in one of these books um, mm -hmm. for Magnetic Entrepreneur, I don't just keep it the name Magnetic Entrepreneur Personality Attracts. I also, yeah. I, I'm doing it like a Chicken Soup for the Soul, where it's Chicken Soup for the Soul for women, for men, for, for Florida, for New York City, for whatever, right? For CEOs. Mm -hmm. That's what I do is like this. I do Magnetic Entrepreneur Personality Attract for CEOs, for, for uh, beginners, for you know, all the different styles. Uh, you can put different names in, uh, real estate. But the people I have doing the forwards yeah. are always celebrities. So let me tell you a little list here that I have. Yeah, yeah, of, <clears throat> let's hear it. This is huge. Tony J. Salini, he's a world-leading authorities on human behavior and emotional spiritual intelligence. Wow. I have Patrick Brown, the in, uh, international speaker. He's uh, Les Brown's son. Mm -hmm. Right. I also I I don't know how to say this one guy's name, but he's the CEO of Super Technologies all around the world. Yeah. Um. I really can't say his name. I have to apologize to him. Um, no, no. I can I can say his name is Rehan Alawala. That's right. The Pakistani yeah, business right. magnate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know who he is, then, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know I know the name. I can read the name because I'm from Pakistan myself. Okay. There you go. Yeah. You can pronounce yeah. it properly. And mm -hmm. me, I don't know. I think we use it kind of. There's silent, silent words in there that we don't really look at or something. Got but, it, got it, yeah. Okay, Raymond Aaron, the New York Times bestseller. Oh, wow. Um, he's a top 10 New York bestseller. Mm -hmm. uh, Rydick Bowe is a two-time heavyweight champion of the world that just made Hall of Fame. Wow. And Don Green also did a forward in it. And Sharon Lutcher, the co-author of Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Bob Proctor. Oh, Rich Dad, one Poor Dad, man. World. I love that book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you got Todd Stoudemire. I'm just getting approved today. For 1992 mm -hmm. 93, he was the pitcher for the Blue Jays World Series. Wow. You got Brad Lee, the owner of Lightspeed, online Lightspeed, where all the high high end people go to the user platform for their stuff. You got Steve uh -huh. Seabolt. Uh, he's featured on today's show, Good Morning Show, America, BBC, Television, Europe, NBC, Australia, CBS, Fox, and dozens of other television, radio, newspapers, and magazines from around the globe. Tim Burt, CBS radio advertising coach, author. Producer credited with more than 30,000 ads worldwide. Tracy uh, Schmidt, she's the unstoppable Tracy, uh, international speaker, international bestseller. Don Furtman, he's a chief development officer at Franchise for Headquarters for Subway. Mm -hmm. So that's the people I have right now, and I'm working on about another five or six more. And these, so, so where are these people going to be? Uh, we can, where can we read about him in one of the Magnetic Entrepreneur books? 
either magnetic entrepreneur they do the forwards for it um they're, oh, they're, they're, they're gonna do the forwards yeah they're, they're the ones that remember i, I always said i'm going to do have people do forwards that are right, forwards. Right. and the reason why I, I have the celebrity status in there i'm going to tell yeah. you guys the reason why is because i want to bring all the people that are in the book it doesn't matter if they're already international bestsellers but i want to bring right. them to a whole new level yeah right so people that never wrote a, a chapter in their life or people that never wrote a book in their life, it gives them an opportunity to write a chapter, 1,500 words, 2,000 words. Yeah. And, and it gives them a chance to become an international bestseller because that's one thing I always guarantee. I always mm -hmm. guarantee I make it to an international bestseller, and then I'm still working on the next book at the same time. And then I'm hoping to get to New York Times bestseller. Nice. Now, that would be a, that would be a big one. Yeah. Um, one guy that I've been listening to and following – um, he's actually got a master class uh, on masterclass.com is uh, James Patterson, New York Times bestseller novel. Mm -hmm. And everything he touches or everything he writes becomes a New York Times bestseller. Nice. And I was like, how are you able to do it? So he's got a whole course on how you can become a writer. So I've been listening to him and I've been watching and I've been taking, I've been doing the, the, exercises and it's very very revealing absolutely revealing yeah the, you know what i realized that when i was sitting there on the street and i was rolling my last cigarette and i, I was looking around with it i was sitting on top of a case of beer mm -hmm. and i looked around and i said is this the life i really want well yeah we, we all have a vision yeah right we all have a vision and, and my vision never actually opened up and, and actually took place until after i was 31 years old and started getting clean and sober mm-hmm because I just, I need to get that fog out of the way. Yeah. Once that fog was out of the way, it was one person that came up to me and she mm -hmm. says, why don't you write a book about your story? Yeah. Right. And I did that. The very first book, it did not go well. Mm -hmm. It did not go well. And that, that's a learning curve. I liked it. But what it did do, it brought another guy to me. Mm -hmm. This guy came to me and says, Robert, he says, you know, here's my story. I would like to get it out there in a book form. So I helped them put it in a book form. Yeah. That guy's name is Forrest Willett. He happens to work for Jack Canfield now. Yeah. He's actually in the same book you were in too. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's got a chapter in there too. Jack Canfield, yeah, actually, Jack Canfield actually wrote the story in the book for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wow. And then, uh, and then there's another guy that uh, touched me later on down the road. He says, uh, Robert, I can't spell or anything like that, so I want to be able to do a book. So I sat with him. Mm -hmm. Even I found the device that he can actually talk into and it'll read it off for him. Yeah. Um, fortunately, he, he ended up dying, but he was doing really, really well with that. Yeah. So, but I mean, it gave me the hope that, hey, listen, you know what? There's obviously something going on here. I love mm -hmm. empowering other people. I love seeing other people smile. But the key is, the key is, I know this, it's, you got to get rid of, all the uh, aspect of money. Yes. When we focus on money, the resistance kicks in. Mm -hmm. And then we're not making money because we're focusing on how much we're losing. Yeah. We're not really losing because you have to invest in yourself. For instance, yeah. when I first started, when I first started uh, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, my first coach, I went bigger. When I, I went big. That was the kind of person I am. I have to go big because small people aren't touching it. Yeah. So I hired... Uh, Thick and grow rich, the operations mm -hmm. manager. Yep. Right. So, and he wanted fifty five hundred a month. Yeah. And it's like, well, I don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, and he says, well, how much do you have? And I said, well, I have twenty one hundred in the bank. He says, well, you're gonna have to give me fourteen hundred down. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, how am I gonna do this? And then I started focusing on how am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? It was yeah. like security, knowing that the stuff was paid. Next yeah. thing you know, he brought me out of that stinking thinking, I'll call it, uh -huh. and uh, the resistance that I was having and the roadblock. And mm -hmm. he, he taught me that if I do the work and invest in myself that 1400 yeah, in two weeks when I pay him the other 1400 mm -hmm. I, will, I will have that no problem at all plus. And it just happened like that because I think I made 17000 in that two weeks. Wow. Yeah. So it was definitely and, a good start. And I think that month, yeah. that month I cleared like 47,000. Amazing. Yeah. Think and grow rich. 
is definitely an amazing book. I, I remember reading it a while back and I haven't gone back to it. So I probably need to go back to it and see, you know, what I'm missing out because that's one thing that I love about books is books give you so much information that you can mm. then, you know, absorb it and then see how you can use it in your daily life. Well, see, books, I'll tell you something. Now, a lot of people think, okay, I'm going to write a book, I'm going to get rich. It doesn't happen that way. No. You have to do a lot of marketing and you got to do a mm -hmm. lot of things on the side. See, one thing a book does is give you credibility. It does, yep. You know, and, that, and that's one thing I want to ex express big time. The mm -hmm. credibility of being an international bestseller. Uh, but what makes you different in that is, is the books you actually are in. So making mm -hmm. an entrepreneur a person I tracks is accumulation of 15 different authors from all walks of life. Yeah. And they collaborate together and they do their each individual story and the book just comes out fascinating. No, that is absolutely true. People get, they truly get the bang for their buck. Oh yeah. Because they're not just reading one person's story, they're reading 15 stories. And when you look at it that way, like, you know, that's, a, that's an amazing amount of value. And you know what? The stuff that I put out there for the authors that are in there, the co-authors, I mean, I treat them all like brothers and sisters, as you know. Um, yeah. I, I do the best I can to make sure. And it, it's a big responsibility on my part. And you know what? It, I'm not really charging all that much as other people would be. Mm -hmm. right? I'm only charging basically enough to, yeah, I pay my bills, but I also have to pay my, my team. I have to pay my marketing team. I have to pay my my editing team, my interior, exterior designers. Um, I have to pay for all these things to be done. And a book is not exactly cheap if you want it done proper. Absolutely. You know, so I mean, I just released the cover page of the second book, um, as you would see this morning. And then I, then I, one, another thing I wanted to do is I said, I want to do something even more than this to, to show appreciation to all the authors out there. Mm -hmm. And, and that's when I decided to do an author rewards. So I do a Magnetic Entrepreneur um, Affiliate and Authors Awards 2019 here in Canada. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the first in Canada. Nice. So I'm definitely going all out to make sure I had all the rooms downstairs and the one above. Yeah. To make sure I had, had it all clear. And then, I mean, yeah, it's costing quite a bit of money, but you know what? Yes. Um, I'm looking for that one sponsor that will help mm -hmm. out, or maybe two sponsors. They'll get credited big time. Yeah, um, I'm looking for the volunteers to come in, and I uh, and I'm I'm looking for uh, people that uh, you know the odd person that wants to come in and uh, be on stage because I have 25 people yeah. in a competition on the first day. Nice. They're, gonna, they're gonna have five minutes on stage. They only pay 147 dollars, right? Yeah. So they pay 147 dollars. They get five minutes on stage, and my team okay. that, that I picked, right? Mm -hmm, the team mm -hmm. that I picked gets to. Uh, Dilute it down to five people. Okay. So the top five people, what they win is they're going to have a package deal. So the very first person obviously gets an award. Yeah. It's award ceremony. I will be handing out like 40 different awards. Um, and the first person also gets uh, coaching for a month. Mm -hmm. And they'll get a chapter in the next upcoming book. Nice. Number, number two spot and three spot will also get a chapter in the book. Mm-hmm. Now, number three and four spot, they'll get half price in the next upcoming books, whatever sure. you choose to come in. I can't give all five because, I mean, it does get of pricey on my crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So, I mean, five people at 25 people, and they have five minutes each. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be uh, quite the event. And it's a, no, on the absolutely. Sunday. Absolutely. The, it's the uh, red carpet event on the Sunday. Nice. Now, one thing that you mentioned earlier was how you removed the volume from Magnetic Entrepreneur, and it's just Magnetic Entrepreneur personality mm -hmm. that attracts. And then you have the subtitle of, it could be anything. Yeah. It almost sounds like how the book series, well, I don't know if you call it a book series, but you have a ton of books on blah, blah, blah for dummies, blah, blah, blah for dummies, blah, blah, blah. It's <laughs> and I was looking I was looking the other day um, at my beekeeping club meeting and there's guy had beekeeping for dummies and you know, it's got that yellow and black cover and it's like immediately recognizable branding. Yeah. The theme. 
the theme, yes. You know, he's got he's got the theme that is recognized if you just change the wording, it still recognizes the theme. Exactly. So so I'm I'm, I'm thinking that's what you're going what you're that's what you're aiming for with the magnetic entrepreneur. Yeah, see I was taking Jack Canfield's course. It's a 10-day free course. You, anybody can get it. It's, where, uh, you know, it's, it, it's quite amazing to take because it actually walked me through. And I was in the shower thinking to myself, well, I want to make $100,000. So how can I do it? Yeah. And then it just dawned on me that, you know, chicken soup for the soul series. I mean, that's mm. the exact same thing. Well, actually, the wife mentioned chicken soup for the soul. She mentioned that word. Yeah. Right. And it's like, bang, that might work. Nice. So I changed the volume off it and started moving towards it. And there's like mm -hmm. people just want to get in this book like there's no tomorrow. That's amazing. I was actually talking to a lady last night in Pakistan. Uh -huh. And she says, I, I would love to be in this book. Um, yeah. And, you know, and, and we wa I walked her through, I don't know, probably about an hour's worth of uh, the different things that are, I, I do with the book. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to show her tangible proof, obviously, which I have no problem. Yeah. Other testimonials that come in. There's a guy in the book, in the first book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a media uh per, he owns his own media business for years. Uh -huh. He's wrote he's written a book, but he's never became an international bestseller or a bestseller. Uh -huh. He didn't know the key. But at the same time, mm -hmm. get this in the at the same time owns a business for media and became seven awards. He got seven awards, achieved seven awards in media. Wow. But still did not get out there to become international bestseller or best. That's interesting. Yeah. It kind of blew my mind. And so. then he asked me, he goes, Robert, what's the secret? I said, I'll tell you what, write a chapter, get in the book and we'll show you the secret. I'm not going to tell you, I'll show you it. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> And he mm -hmm. got to see the transformation. Now he did a testimony for me. It's absolutely amazing because mm -hmm. he can't believe how fast I did it. And then yeah. a little bit of cost of the cost to get in there. He says, I can't yeah. believe it. Yeah. And then at the end, I'll be honest with you, I don't really charge that much for the actual book itself at the end. I I, I was gonna do um I was gonna do before people just get copies off me for a, a wholesale price. Yeah. Well, I'm still debating on just actually giving the people the book and let them load it themselves to give 100% royalties. Because, sure. You know, it's, as long as the book's getting out there with my name and my stuff, yeah. why do I care? You're you're getting that long tail um, feedback because you just mentioned Jack Canfield and I visited his website mm -hmm. and I was like, wow, this is awesome. So he didn't have to market to me, but since he left an impression on you, you mentioned him. I went and found, you know, I went and looked him up. So that that's that's called the long tail that's right. uh, in the search engine, you know, market. And so, you so you're on, building that long tail. It's like when you go in the uh, Amazon, when you go yeah. in Amazon.ca or just Amazon, mm -hmm. and you write in Robert J. Moore, yeah, a different style of books will come up because I've co-written books with other people. Yeah. And they put me down as the author on there. So now they're tagged in with me. Yes, I'm, tag I'm tagged in with all these other uh, celebrity figures. Exactly, um, and it just it brings me up a lot closer yeah. to them. And then it does. the mm -hmm. people that come in, the 15 people that come in the book, each of them, every three months, I bring 15 people to a new level. Yeah, but yes. I want to mention I have affiliate program. Mm -hmm. If you've already been an author of mine, and you mm -hmm. want to be, you want to be in the affiliate program. Mm -hmm. All right, here's how it works. Okay. I can come to you and mm -hmm. say, okay, here's what we got going on. I charge a certain amount to you. Yeah. Right? You charge mm -hmm. a certain amount to those other people. And we and I tell, people, I tell people the price because it's a contract. Mm -hmm. Right? And they yeah. charge a certain amount. And mm -hmm. they make they make like $300 per chapter. So they make four four $4,500 off per book. Got so, it. Right, and that's a nice chunk yeah. for a book. I and mean, all yeah. you have to do is get the fifteen people in to agree, and yeah. make sure they have their chapters. And that's all you have to do. I do the rest. I do my team. My team is a wonderful team. They do all the work. Right. So you have to be an author to be able to bring in these people. Yeah, that's that's what I figure. I mean, it's the best way to go because then they understand the concept of the book. Yeah. yeah. No sense trying to explain it to someone that hasn't been in the book yet. I right. Mean, then it's like okay. Yeah. Now that totally makes sense, and I can certainly think of a lot of people that might be 
you know, might be able to benefit from being in a book. Sure. And I you mean, know, I have I'll a tell team. You about something there's more to mm-hmm. too. I actually give like like I would give hundred percent royalties to you guys as affiliate because I hand the book mm-hmm. to you. I right, book right, to you. right. You want to hand it out to them. Yeah. Your business on that part. But at of the course. same time, where it says Robert J. Moore up top, yeah. Right below that, as affiliate, as a package deal, I mm-hmm. actually put co authored in mm-hmm. that person's name. Right Got underneath it. mine. So it really brings right. the value of that yeah. up. Absolutely. No, that's that's a really good good idea. Um I've been thinking just after, you know, for a while about this. Once we once you first mentioned it to me a while back. And I have a team of cyclists and mm-hmm. they'll talk about I mean, it's it's my team and you know, we cycle and we road bike a lot. And all they talk about every day is bike gear. That's perfect. What bike you yeah, know, all, basically their own experiences. Yeah, all of their own experiences. So I was wondering if because it says my magnetic entrepreneur now on not all of them are entrepreneurs. Some of them, you know, work for another company. Most of them actually work for somebody else. Um, maybe some pe- some of them have their own businesses. So would it be fair? Because you're looking at the category. I mean, if mm-hmm. you look at the book, it's either way, it's still magnetic entrepreneur, a person yeah. that attracts. They yeah. have the personality that attracts. Obviously, it's attracting other cyclists. That's um, true. Now, if you look at it, here's the way I would look at it. Okay, magnetic mm-hmm. entrepreneur is me. That's me behind the scenes. Yeah, that's my it's my uh, theme. It's my mm-hmm. my uh, branding, mm-hmm. right? So, magnetic yeah. entrepreneur, personality that attracts for cyclists. Mm-hmm. You just put down for cyclists on, it and it just changes the whole tone. It of changes it. the whole tone of it. Yeah, no, that's that's something I'm going to pursue. Uh, yeah, in we, the, in we the coming months, put that together and work on that afterwards, and. And make sure we get you going on that because, um, and if there's ever, ever any help, I mean, I'm there. Nice. Right. You and, know, another one that, that I was thinking of since I am part of a beekeeping club. Yeah. <laughs> beekeepers. Why not? If, whatever, whatever you choose. Whatever I choose because it's beekeepers. Whatever you choose. As long as whatever. it's a magnetic entrepreneur, a person yeah. that attracts. Yeah. It, it could be for uh, women. It could be for men. Cyclists. It could, it could be, be anything. For, right. uh, Florida. It could be for a state. It could be for a country. So, it could be for, as long as I agree on the, the wording of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it can't be something that's going to put me in a bad position. No, no, absolutely. We want to be, we want to be something that you yourself can see yourself in, yeah. in that part. Like, like, I'm not into witchcraft. And no. Like that, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, I've had one person ask me if they can actually do uh, voodoo. And you know, I said, I, I prefer not to. Yeah. Because, so, you know, I, just, I, I am a Christian. Um, yeah. I believe yeah. in Christianity and, and I'm a follower of Jesus, but yes, I don't believe in putting something that's going to put me down. No, no, absolutely. No, those are really good points. Wow. Where can folks find you uh, if they want to, you know, get to know more about you, more about the books? And you already mentioned we can search Robert J. Moore on Amazon and find yeah. all the books. Where else can people go? Facebook, I'm um, Robert J. Moore. I'm, I'm also yeah. the business name on their mm-hmm. business page is Robert J. Moore. Okay. Um, I used to have a Robert J. Moore Inspires, but I, I kept it my own name. Sure. Because it's, it's the branding behind everything, right? Yeah. I'm an international speaker. I speak all over the world and, and do yeah. podcasts. I'm in magazines from here to there. I mean, it's amazing uh, yeah, the it amount is. of attention that I, I get at times and how busy I could be. But I mm-hmm. always try and make that extra time for, for people to do, uh, like yourself, when you ask, and you say, wow, that was easy to do. Yeah. It's all about Absolutely. just asking the question. Got it. No, do, you think, um, do you think all these people in my book come to me and say, "Hey, listen, I'd like to write a forward"? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not have to go ask them. <laughs> yeah, you have to ask them, and you know what? If you don't put it in the proper perspective, yeah, if you don't show them the credibility behind your name, mm-hmm. and the reason for them doing it, you're, you're not going to get nowhere. Nice, that's so true. I, I have to show them that the the solution of them being in the book basically benefits not just me, but other yeah. authors that are coming in. Yeah. And that how it will enhance their lives because they're all they're all about helping other people. Mm-hmm. So when I show them the accountability and the responsibility of what I'm doing, yeah, you gotta show them definitely responsibility because I can't use their name in, in a negative way 
Right. And that's one of the main things. You don't want to. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm very cautious why I'm doing this book and how I'm doing this book. Um, I hired a manager. Mm -hmm. He's doing two books out in Dubai right now. Yeah. And I have another guy in uh, Florida, <laughs> Florida doing one, another one in, in, in uh, where is he, New York City. Nice. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a, about seven books out there right now that are being built through mm -hmm. these other people. So it's a nice structure going through. It keeps me busy, and I'm still working on more forwards. Okay. And I am looking at doing videos in the future to help expose yeah. people. Yeah. But I might have to hire two or three people to actually do the actual videos with them and they'll still be, they'll still be on my page or whatever. Yeah. Be, right? yeah. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Robert, for your time. And, um, thank you for so much knowledge that you've shared. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we'll looking forward to talking with you more and looking forward to the amazing books that as they come out. All right. I appreciate the time. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode on Hacks and Hobbies. We absolutely appreciate your contribution. You can find additional notes on hacksandhobbies.com. Please share the podcast with your friends and tell them what you learned about our guest today.